Sapaninha. What's happening? What's that? That's it, you got it. All right. My name is Dane Thompson. You're watching another episode of What's Happening? Woo! All right. This is the weekly episode series where I basically break down the videos that I've made uh, over this week, and then we get to talk about stuff. Uh, this week I got some comments, a little bit of news, so let's jump right into it, shall we? So, I made two videos this week. Uh, the first one was the trans cooler install video, and that's it. It was basically me installing a transmission cooler. So I actually had a transmission cooler in the car. It was in front of the radiator like you normally run them. And then I put that giant intercooler on my car, and then nothing fit. So I put it behind the radiator in the engine bay it was probably terrible it didn't really get any air and then i thought about maybe trying to put a fan on it but it was literally just kind of stuffed in there it probably wouldn't really do much honestly so i got an entirely new setup initially i was just gonna get a fan and i found one that was just all together and i figured i could spend all day figuring out how to mount a fan to it and then figuring out how to mount that whole apparatus to the bottom of the car or just buy the neat little package it was already done and stick it on there and call it a day. And that's exactly what we did. So I got the adapter fittings, the standoffs, the cooler with the fan, all that stuff at G&J in Ontario. So if you live in Southern California and you don't know where G&J is or what G&J, it's G&J Aircraft, they make hoses, they have all the fittings you need, they have all kinds of stuff, all your catch cans, transmission coolers, V-band clamps, uh, the store is pretty amazing. Maybe next time I'll go in there and film a little bit. I always feel kind of weird just rolling it on, like rolling on people with my camera. Um, so it, maybe I can get permission and kind of walk around. They got some cool like vintage stuff there too. So if you don't know who or where G&J is, you need to get with it and get on it. So on to the next video. I think what I'm going to start doing, if you guys noticed the other video I did this week, it was a bonus video and it was... Uh, drive lines incorporated from mission viejo came out and they measure the drive line they make it and then they deliver it and then you get all that for pretty much the same fee that you pay going to a regular shop where i'd have to measure drop it off and pick it up to joe blow's drive lines uh, these guys come out and do it all for you so that is really cool the dude was a bit younger his name was josh and i was like i'll just ask you if you know if i could put him on camera and you guys would be surprised a lot of people they just they don't like the camera, they don't want to be on camera. Uh, they don't want to, I don't know. Maybe they sound like me when I'm like, hey, but I usually ask people instead of just cramming it in their face and a lot of people just don't like it. So I asked him, he was cool. And then I did the worst job ever kind of interviewing him and, and I had fun with it. But um, yeah, so that thing got done and that was pretty much it. Those are my two videos. And I think what we're gonna do, it's Taco Tuesday is always video day. If I have some sort of bonus content or something that's worth putting out, that I feel for you guys or like bonus material that maybe didn't make the cut um, in the initial video. We'll start doing bonus episodes on Wednesday, Wednesdays, just here and there, whenever I have the content. I'm not gonna try to make it, whew, I'm not gonna try to make it a uh, every single week thing because the two videos are stretched anyway, three. I was on three for a while trying to do it and it, it's, it's a lot of work. So I think we'll just keep it Tuesday, Thursday, and then we'll just do bonus on like Wednesday or Friday. So that way it's not, doesn't have to really necessarily be back to back. Meat and potatoes, it's always gonna be Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, yeah, you guys are awesome. So, that's pretty much that for the videos. Let's get on to the next thing on my list, news. Whew. All right, I'm back. Look at that, organization. If you look to my garage, it is such a crap hole, but at least I write stuff down and that's because I would forget, honestly, if I didn't. So, um, this is on my list of stuff that we're getting checked off. And today I checked off another one of these, but all that's left is wire the trans cooler fan. Um, I gotta situate the wheels and tires. I'm still not sure if I'm getting new slicks for the new rims that I have, or if I'm just gonna take the radials off of the wheels that I have and stick it on the new tires. Um, so that's kinda, the other thing too with new tires is I've heard, and I'll have to do more research, but that you don't run a bias ply with a radial. Like it's either all bias ply tires or all rad radial tires. So if I got new slicks, then that would mean I'd have radials on the front, slicks on the back. So uh, I don't know. I think we're probably just gonna run those radials till they show cords 
and then we'll have to get front runners and, and the whole to do the whole dance. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Paint the rear end America. So I put that pole out and I put it here and I also put it on Instagram and pretty much overwhelmingly uh, it was painted red, white, and blue because I went through my spray cans and I didn't necessarily mean it had to be these colors, but I was like, this is what I got on the shelf. What do you guys think? And then everybody's like, paint it red, white, and blue. So I guess we're just going with that. So I'll do some sort of America. I'll show you guys before we get this thing rolling. Hopefully before we go to the track, we'll do some uh, paint on the rear end. Fluids, bleed brakes, um, and install the dipstick in the transmission because they haven't done that yet. So some of the things we checked off the list, uh, the drive line is actually made. It will be delivered pretty much by the time you guys see this video. So that thing will be done. Um, I tack welded, I got all the lines and everything uh, cut in for the, for the line lock. And then I've got all the fittings and then the little fitting on the back for the rear brakes. I ended up having to make a new line because one of the used lines that I showed where it's offset uh, kept splitting. And then I noticed it today when I was in there trying to tack stuff up. So I just made a new little section there. So I've got all that done. I still have to bleed it, but I got all that stuff done. So pretty much just fluids, a little wiring and um, install a drive line. And then we got to paint America on it, of course. I think I got to do that before we even test drive it because I think that's going to be the make or break. If it's not painted America, I have a feeling that things aren't just, they're just not going to work out. So we got to make sure that we get that done. It's most important. This weekend, I'm trying to install a cage at KP Fab and Tune. Bam, my world famous uh, tuner. So I'm going over there, basically going to squirrel myself into the corner of a shop and then probably just bother everybody when I need help doing stuff. And um, hopefully we get it all knocked out so he can weld it up and make it awesome. So that is pretty much where we're at with the Malibu. Also in, in other big news, uh, DJ Safety is going to supply the belts. And then I do have a window net kit that we're gonna weld in. The car's not fast enough to need it yet, but I figured we might as well have it. And then when we get there, uh, DJ Safety will be making the window net uh, as well. And speaking of DJ Safety, I'm gonna go on a field trip and we're gonna check it out. I'll bring the camera along. Uh, we'll see what I can show and not show. We'll see what kind of day they're having over there. And some, some dude running around with the camera trying to film people on a, a weekday. So we'll see how well that goes. But uh, you guys will get to meet my friend Ben. Uh, I think they call him Boy, but he's over there. And if you watch any of my episodes and stuff, he's a guy, he sent me stickers of him like lounging. And I have one on my demo cross car when I went racing. And he's a, he's a character, so he should be fun. And he's all in the lowriders, which is kind of not what this channel's about, but I do love me some lowriders and it'll be fun because I've never really been in one with hydraulics. So his, his has the juice on it. So that'll be fun and interesting if you guys are into lowriders at all. So we got drag racing safety equipment, lowriders, and pretty much awesomeness coming up from DJ Safety. So we're, I'm gonna bring you guys along on the field trip for that. And then that, that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell as far as uh, upcoming news and things like that for the channel, what we're doing other than just trying to get this freaking car wrapped up. So, so that's pretty much it. That's what you can look forward to coming up on the channel. Cages, lowriders, seatbelts. Awesome. So what I'd also like to do is I would like to highlight a few comments that I've gotten on the channel. We kind of got away from it because everybody's been awesome. They're sending me crazy stuff and I just got sidetracked like a bug to a headline. I'm like, oh, you know. So um, I just want to highlight a few of these that I thought were kind of cool. First one is from uh, DIY J Man. And he was like, basically in a nutshell, because it was kind of long for me to write down. He said, Good job on not using my wife to promote my YouTube. So, pretty much stripped my wife down, throwing her like bikini, and then trying to show her boobs and stuff. So, it's for clickbait, for thumbnails and whatnot. I don't know, man. All that stuff to each his own. I know that you would get clicks from it. I just don't know that you would get subs. That's And that's where the whole disconnect for me is because. You've seen different channels and things. I know you guys have watched and look, looked around the internet and you'll see some video that just has an outrageous amount of clicks. And then if you go to that guy's channel, he doesn't have the subs. And yeah, it's clickbait and you're gonna get the views and you know there, there are things to be said for, for doing that. But if you don't really have the content to back it up, I don't think it really matters. And, and then honestly, this is one of those things. It is like watching grass grow. Sometimes it's frustrating, but Ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm really able to just break this thing down. Like the other day I went on there and I was looking through analytics and stuff. And in the past 365 days, I have like 1.1 million view minutes. So 
I don't really think I need strippers and thumbnails and things like that to promote this because you guys are watching it and that's really what's important. And I'm pretty logical. You know, if you had 500 people or like a thousand people sitting in a room, like even a majority, let's just say 300, 400 people, right? That consistently watch the content I put up. If I packed them all, they wouldn't even fit in this garage. Like I've never sat with a microphone and talked to like 300 people, like a small sea of people, uh, let alone, you know, having 2,500 subscribers. If everybody sat there and listened to something that I said, I mean, it's just a huge platform and people like to downplay it because all oh, your numbers aren't big or whatever. But ultimately it's about providing content that people want to see. So I, if I had 10,000 people that really didn't care what I was doing and they didn't tune in for any of this stuff, it, it would be better to have 500 that actually gave a crap. I mean, in my opinion, so I don't really care. The numbers are, they are what they are. I'm just going to continue to put the content that I enjoy. Hopefully that you guys enjoy, and then we'll just go along with it. I mean, if I have to start renting strippers, I guess, and putting up crazy thumbnails, you know. Um, no, I don't. It is what it is, dude. I'm not going to have any car washes and, and half-naked women and all that stuff. It's just, that's not really what this channel's about. But thank you very much for the comment on that. All right, we got another comment here from, I don't even know what this is, J-I-O-V-A-N-Y-V-A-R-E-L-A. -E Whatever that says and spells, um, he said cool intro, so he was referring to the what's happening intro, so thank you very much. I kind of just stole one that was pre-made and then just kind of made it cooler. Gearjammer520, keep checking the boxes and it will be flying down the road in no time. Thank you very much. Um, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. It's just one foot in front of the other, see if we can get to the finish line to get that car running. So that is pretty much it. That is all I got. Those are some of the positive comments and feedback. Um, I did have another comment. I forget where I saw it, but I did read um, that some guy actually appreciated he liked my channel and he said that it was family friendly and I didn't curse a bunch and you know that he really enjoyed the content that I put out. So that's the other thing that it's kind of important to me as well is when I first started Instagram and I started YouTube, I was just kind of a sailor, maybe it was a nervous tick, but I just used to drop F-bombs and curse words and I'm like, yeah, because I didn't think anybody was really gonna watch my stuff. And I didn't really care, honestly, when I first started it. But then you get to a certain point and then you have a, you know, you have a kid and then you got buddies that have kids and families. And granted, yeah, we're all adults, so if you sat around with me and we were kind of talking, I'm a little more, I'm a little more relaxed, I guess you could say I might drop uh, some F-bombs and some some other non-favorable words here and there, but when we turn the camera on we're filming, I basically just go into what I like to call dad mode. So it's just like if my child was around or somebody else's kid, that's all I do. So I do refrain, um, so I kind of think before I speak when the camera is rolling, but mainly that's just so my buddies with kids and everybody else, I've got friends and their kids actually watch my stuff. Um, so if, if I'm you know, dropping a bunch of content that their kids don't need to see. And then maybe one day when my son gets older, he'll like to watch these videos. Maybe he wants to look back on them and watch them. And there's punctuation with cursing. I mean, I get it when you're excited or whatever, but to really try to just get your point across in an average conversation, there's really not a big need for a bunch of F-bombs and curse words for the most part. And the smartest people I know, uh, they don't just sit there and drop a bunch of F-bombs and, and whatnot. So if you meet me in person, I'm a little more casual than I am on here because this stuff just goes on the internet, it's documented, it lives there forever. And like I said, I don't think it makes you sound any smarter dropping a bunch of F-bombs. Granted, you know, you get excited uh, from time to time, but for the most part, I don't think it's really that necessary to get a point across. And I don't think people think you're cooler or you look smarter or whatever, I just, I just choose not to. So that's pretty much it. We are just gonna keep cranking out the car content. My car is almost done. Uh, the 20th is coming up fast. I'm gonna go gangbusters this weekend, and then I have a feeling by the end of next week, I'm really gonna be scrambling. And I've decided what I would like to try to do as well, if I can get the car up and running, get the cage put in, I'm gonna spend the afternoons and evenings trying to get the car dialed. I would like the trans brake to work. Um, I'd like the two-step. I'd like all those fun things that I put in the car to actually function. Initially, I was like, well, we can go out and play it safe, and we'll just foot brake and have some fun, but the reality is, if I'm at the track, I'm gonna to wanna to use this stuff, and then I don't wanna be at the track trying to get the trans brake to work or trying to get the two-step to work, so I'm just gonna put all that on the list because I know when I get there, I'm gonna want it. So 
These flies are driving me absolutely crazy. I am completely done sitting here and talking and getting bombarded. If you guys like this, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. We got merch on burndownmerch.com. That is it. I'm out.